start off by congratulating Idaho. Uh, thought they gave her a really good effort today um, on both sides of the ball. Obviously, uh, were able to jump on us and really, uh, you know, own the first half in, in so many ways. Um, you know, and, and that uh, you know, that paid dividends for them at the end. I think our defense really wore down in part because our offense couldn't stay on the field the first half. And even though we got some things going offensively in that second half. Um, you know, ultimately that damage was maybe done on our defense. Um, you know, you, you win and you lose as a, as a team. Um, and just like we've had so many team wins, that was a, that was a team loss. I think every phase, obviously, going down to the last, uh, the last kick. Um, you know, and, and we, we fought and, and were resilient and, and all that stuff, but we came up, came up short, uh, you know. And I, I think moving forward, um, all that we got in front of us is NAU. And that's, that's the way we got to approach this, bounce back, get back home, um, and have a great week of practice and, and go after NAU next week. Was there anything specifically in that first half that you felt like um, caused the offense to not play as well as? Well, we weren't real good on first down, you know, so you, you get. Uh, you get on your heels a little bit when you're in those longer yard situations, and we didn't make a didn't make a play um, in those those scenarios. Uh, you know, we came out and we did make make a bunch of those plays in the second half. Um, you know, and I think certainly the credit goes to what they were capable of doing. They tackled well in that first half, and um, you know, we certainly got behind the eight ball. Um, what do you think of the pressure you guys were able to put on McCoy, especially in the first half? Well, I think we anticipated that uh, that we could do that. Um, I mean, you couldn't write the start any better to come out with a couple sacks that first sequence, and then we go three and out. And you know, from there, it kind of uh, that's that was the nature of that that first half. Um, you know, uh, I thought they picked up. A, I haven't seen any stats, but a fair amount of third downs, fourth downs, they, they keep drives going. And on the flip side, you know, we didn't uh, we didn't do that as much. So, um, you know, it's. Uh, it's it's one of those those games that obviously could have gone either way, and and we definitely have to uh, look internally, each one of us, to to see what you know what we need to do better moving forward. Anything you said to Brendan after either of those missed field goals? No, no. You know the, f the first one that came came off a little bit low, and you know we got to go back to the drawing board. I think that makes it six six for twelve field goals on the year. Um, that's that's not going to get it done. Um, so whatever the drawing board means, we got to go back to it and, and find a way where we can convert field goals. Last offensive possession, you had a couple of timeouts left to get into their uh, territory. I mean, what did you just think of the execution? How, you, how are you guys able to get down close there? Well, I thought I thought to that point, um, you know, Tommy threw the ball really well, was getting the ball out of his hands. Um, you know, then obviously, you know, we, we stall out, they bring pressure, we get sacked, and then we we get plus one, and we have to throw the ball up for grabs. So, you know, good until a point, and then not uh, good enough to, you know, pull the win out. When they get ahead, like they do, and then they sit on the clock, like they do. I mean, how difficult is it to just sort of stay in a rhythm? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think we value possessions too. You know, I think it just. Uh, he just made all those second half possessions that that much more important, and you know I thought we we did a pretty good job with that. We were we were three of three until the end, and like I said before, unfortunately the way the first half half won, our defense was just on the field way too much, and that uh, you know I think that showed. I think that showed down down the stretch, and um, you know we just we couldn't finish. We take take a lead like that in the, the fourth quarter. You know I think our expectation is we can finish that, and we just didn't do it. John didn't play much in this game. Uh, what was kind of the reason for that? Not a lot of plays. I mean, I don't know how, how many plays do we have through three quarters. Not too many. You know, you don't get in the in the rhythm. You don't get in the flow. There's only so many plays out there. Um, all of the above. At halftime, though, coming out of halftime, how are you guys able to put together those two nice scoring drives in the third quarter? Well, I think not panicking. You know, it was 10 to zero. I mean, unfortunately, it was just that. Um, I, and you know, I think there were some some things within our plan that we hadn't run yet that that worked. Um, I thought uh, running backs, you know, continued to run very hard, and you know, uh, you know, set us up to you know be ahead at, at the fourth quarter. Unfortunately, it didn't stay that way. Um, they converted a lot of fourth downs, especially early, and some third downs. Uh, how much, how important do you think that was? Oh, it was huge. You know, they stayed on the field. We we. We we couldn't stay on it. They stayed on it. I think that's you know you, there's a lot of things that uh, it comes down to. But that was that was huge. The, the play count in the first half had to be way out of whack, and that's that's great when you're big play and you're scoring. But when you're three and out, it, it, that uh, that doesn't work. You come out swinging in the second half, but what, what was puzzling about the first half that they were doing? Uh, I don't think it was anything that they were doing. I think it was just us. I think we had a slow start.
talk about how you responded in the third quarter for me with those back-to-back -back quick touchdown drives? Yeah, um, you know, we were just able to start, you know, getting into some of our calls that we've been practicing all week. And uh, you know, I think that first half we had nine plays, excluding that two-minute drill. So uh, we were just start, you know, we were just able to start executing our game plan, and we were able to start doing that. And you know, we only had so many possessions. Um, I know that you know they did a good job on their offense, keeping keeping the ball away from us. And um, you know, obviously we didn't we didn't start the way we need to. So, uh, but yeah, we just started getting rolling on our game plan. That's that's kind of what happened in the third 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 quarter. So you run out and, and talk to uh, or console uh, Brendan after that this field goal. What did you say to him? What, what was kind of the message there? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that there is you know obviously everyone's going to be upset um, about Brendan, but I mean it's. A whole 60-minute game, and, and he was out there, you know, and he obviously had a chance ch chance to win it. But um, you know, he's that's just one play out of the entire game, and you know, it's not obviously all on him, but it's very easy for him to feel that. And so, you know, I think it's just important for us to, uh, you know, obviously everyone has his back, everyone believes in what he's doing. Uh, he works his butt off for us, and he's you know been great in the kickoff game. So, um, you know, just I think it's it's important to you know obviously have guys back. Seemed like the defense got a lot of pressure on that final drive where they blitz in a lot more on the final drive. Um <clears throat> sometimes it worked, yeah. I mean obviously when we got down there, um they get they got they got uncomfortable. We moved the ball well. We moved the ball down the field, and they got uncomfortable. So they started bringing pressure, and um, yeah, ultimately uh, disrupted us enough that we couldn't you know continue moving the ball. They're just trying to give your uh, receiver a chance on that third down throw. Yeah, yeah um, I was hoping for something that wasn't realistic. So uh, that was that was a bad play by me. All good. Uh, it's tough. Uh, we started slow. Um, on defense, we didn't get off the field on third and fourth downs and um, had the lead in the fourth quarter, which uh, ultimately we didn't get a stop. So that's what hurts most right now, um, that we had the opportunity and didn't make it count at the end. But uh, we're going to get better from it. How gassed were you guys, Brody? I mean, I don't know what the minute count was, but your defense was on the field all day. Yeah, I mean, we were on the field a lot, uh, which is fine. Um, we got to make some stops. Uh, we got a pretty good rotation um, on the inside and the D-line, so um, we get some good breaks. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you play a lot of plays, you get a little gas. So. What are the biggest challenges when they go for it on fourth down as much as they did? Um... I don't know. I think it's just mentality. We just got to be able to bow up, get on the field. We talk about it all the time in practice. Um, we go over those scenarios and just got to make it count when it happens because their playbook opens up quite a bit um, right there. And uh, yeah, just got to get off the field. What were you guys seeing up front to, I guess, get that early pressure, especially those couple sacks that were in the game? Uh, we just had a little time, I think, um, right there early, some drop back passes and had some time, got back there quick and uh, took advantage of them early and kind of switched up their game plan a little bit. They uh, did some draws, some screens, switched it up. They did a good job of switching it up after, I think they knew after those first two plays that um, our rush was ready to go. So.